represents the result of the research of National Technical University of Ukraine, Igor Sikorsky Key Polytechnical Institute, authors are the Saint Igor Baklan, Irina Muha, Katerina Rosyuk, Olena Gavulenko, Senior Lecturer Yuri Olenik, Magister Students Alina Olenik, uh, Svetlana Rudska and Anna Slug. Our topic is Ekagas signal processing based on linguistic chain five sets. We made it in the memory of Professor Lofty Zede. Uh, he is a legend and great uh, artificial intelligence expert and father of fuzzy mathematical logic. He had contributed a paper called Five Effects, defining a new way on considering information and established based principle for drawing engineering conclusion from this concept. Professor Zaydek for the set research considered application to artificial intelligence, linguistics, logic, decision analysis, uh, control theory, expert uh, systems and neural networks. So why we choose the topic and why it's so important. CBD is the leading cause of death and disability in the world killing almost 18 million people every year. That is third of all deaths on the planet. However, the good news is that 80% of premature heart attack and stroke are preventable. Checking and controlling risk factors for heart disease and stroke such as high blood pressure is also very important. In the broad health care domain, electrocardiograms are important sequences to be analyzed. The collection of these signals become easier with the rise of uh, wearable devices such as smartwatches that have ability to exclude one lead EKG anywhere and anytime. Therefore, with the increasing of users, monitoring and classifying the signals is becoming more and more important in everyday uses. Uh, so let's talk about history in the about modern history in this sphere. In 2040, there was a paper about calculating EKG peaks. Uh, there was use a neural network classifier of uh, cardio cardio cycles. Uh, the author managed to achieve a 99 accuracy. The study has significantly improved the determination of the position of screen points. Then uh, was software implementation of the classification and uh, the studies uh, separate electrocardiograms in two categories, normal and arrhythmic. Uh, this was quite a great study. Uh, next one uh, was in 2017 uh, and uh, they achieved only 79%, but this study shows the promising of using artificial intelligence for classifying EKG. So, and after that, a lot of study are become uh, to improve their results. Uh, then one. Then was uh, classification based on convolutional neural network has been proposed and uh, after that in year 2019-2020 uh, neural networks began to be used in all possible areas and electrocardiogram is one of them. Uh, the number of articles is insane and almost all of them show great results. At the same time, many problems remain in domain of, of additional study of a Gavis neural network. Uh, let's talk about them. Uh, so first of the problem is uneven distribution of data between classes, which complicates the classification. The second problem that is the impermanence of the EKG. The period and amplitude of the EKG can depend on the age, health, status, gender, weight, and even patient lifestyle. For some people, all standard devastation will be threat as anomalies. Another important problem in EKG analysis is the presence of a noise. It's difficult to draw the line between a real anomaly and just an error made by machine. 
But despite the problems listed above, neural networks are one of the most advantaged methodology for analyzing EKG with great accuracy. Today, uh, using this technology, so it's multi-layer birth patron, convolutional neural network, a deep belief network, recurrent neural network, a long short-term memory, uh, bidirection recur recurrent network, and a gated recurrent unit, and, other, and a lot of others. But for now, let's uh, get close to our topic, and it's linguistic modeling. So, the first step of linguistic modeling process Intervalization, distribution of value area, linguistic morphism building, domain alphabet, generalization of linguistic chains, and finally grammar restoration. Let's uh, take a closer look at the step of constructing a linguistic model of a time series. Intervalization, classic dividing range values into interval sets. The main purpose of linguistic modeling process is to represent intervals in the form fuzzy nets, which are certain membership function. Let's discuss fuzzy set approach. As income, we have n values, and we should split them into intervals as n sub intervals. Uh, we have condition uh, when these intervals are equivalent and equipable. Uh, and uh, formal, uh, formula or even uh, probability destruction with the uh, distribution function f when probability of falling elements of the series to the intervals. So, uh, main elements of fuzzy sets is fuzzy logic functions, fuzzy arithmetic function defined of, uh, on fuzzy numbers, fuzzy inference function, functions over fuzzy subset, functions over fuzzy subset which an indefined degree of affiliation. Uh, let's uh, take a uh, look on transformation method operation with a fuzzy set approach. Firstly, we start uh, by splitting signal into intervals with the same number of elements. Then assign a symbol to each interval. Uh, then if uh, is membership function maximum? If yes, convert element into a symbol. If no, calculate the membership function to another interval. Uh, so it's uh, how uh, from set we create a letter. Uh, the result of conversation into a chain of characteristics you may see now on the screen. Uh, it has peak uh, in 230. Uh, chain examples that we have. So, as you see, uh, we take uh, English alphabet uh, to show some examples. And for now, it looks uh, kind of great. And we have uh, one template that we can look through all of examples. Uh, so, let's now talk about efficiency of resources. Algorithm consists, consists of three major steps. Find the square difference between the initial elements and uh, the corresponding. Calculation of the average value of the whole series and find the square root of the mean. Efficient research algorithm. Uh, so, firstly, we read the data from CSV file and then split data in the heartbeats. Um, then we have a two separate events. Firstly, it's transform data using fuzzy sets, perform reserve transformation, and then we have like our uh, numbers that we have uh, at the beginning, a little bit transform. And a uh, parallel way is transform a data using structural method and perform reserve transformation. Then uh, we calculate center duration and display the result and uh, that's how we compare these two methods. And the structural methods show a higher percentage of error because no information is stored about the number of elements that were converted to a specific character, while uh, the result of performing the 
transformation by the fuzzy set approach contains more detailed information about the original data. As a result, the obtained numerical series of FK is close to the primary signal. In general, the roll rate of this method is less than 5%. Let's talk about the result of the study. Uh, analyzing them, the method of linguistic modeling with the approach of fuzzy set has a lower percentage of error in the inverse transformation compared to the structural approach. Therefore, the proposed method can be considered to provide more accurate information in the linguistic change. The root mean square error discovered by 1.6%. Uh, so let's get a conclusion of our research. Uh, the main steps for the algorithm of the transformation methods based on the apparatus of fuzzy sets are determination of intervals with the same number of elements and the calculation of the membership function of each numeric of the signal to the intervals. An experiment was performed using 52 character alphabet the output is a file with data on each fuzzy set of a certain character and separate file on the conversation of each segment of the input signals in the linguistic chain. When universally reproducing data in numerical series, the average error value is 4.17. The average value of the error of method with the appearance of fuzzy sets is 1.6 less than for the structural matter. Thank you for your attention.